So many dishes spinning right now. I guess the first dish to start with, everybody talking about the graph, looks like a ski slope. 2019 S&P 500 earnings expectations diminished. Very much so. Remember, we rolled off the tax cuts in 2018, which helped with those numbers getting in 15, 20%. They're falling down to around 3.5% year-over-year growth, 2% inflation environment. We're talking 1.5% real on earnings growth. So if this is a great economy, it's not showing up in the earnings estimates by the analysts that so far in the first half of 2019, we're going to have rather lackluster growth. Growth but barely grow. But the rate of change of earnings isn't a one-to-one -one application for that type of equal downside to the general economy at large, is it? No, it's not. But it does put, put a pause. It rhymes. Yes, it rhymes, and it will also put a lid on the stock market. The stock market, to get back to the September highs, I don't think it can really do that by saying, hey, we're in a 3% earnings world. Yeah, yeah we, but markets like lids because usually it's breaking lids that gives you the best or worst returns. So if there's a lid here and the economy, due to a variety of uncertain issues, maybe get remedied in the future, popping through the lid is still possible. Oh, absolutely. It's always possible, especially given that we were in an oversold condition in December and the market starts moving higher and maybe we get a rush of people to come back into the marketplace. All right, uh, with regard to what happened in December, you have a one word answer. What is it? That the Fed almost tried to murder the economy. Ben Bernanke said that on the panel. Right, that, that when Jay Powell said automatic pilot, it's like watching paint dry with the balance sheet, what he missed was the market thinks that's a couple of rate hikes. Then he said, we're going to do a couple more. The market said, you're going to go too much and murder the economy and cause a recession. It freaked out till January 4th when he pulled his sheet of paper out, carefully read his patient and flexible notes to make sure that everybody knew, forget that, that part is off right So it's now. like two cooks in the kitchen, each turn around, put more salt in the stew. Right, exactly. All right, now the final issue, in my opinion, is how is all this going to turn out when we have so many things in March? We have Brexit in March. We have debt ceiling in March. We have the China scenario uh, where negotiations have a finite red line in March. There's a lot of issues in March. And the one issue of the, of the government closed exactly. continues. If we don't resolve this into March and we go into debt ceiling and we go into Brexit and we go into the trade deadlines, for the technicians that are looking for a retest of the December lows, there you go, right there. There's a lot of issues. We get this, we get the government shutdown settled before that, we could be a little more optimistic. But you know, both sides are dug in. You know, could we break away and look at the camera and do something? You know, Jim, I know that the president has his base feels strongly. I know that Pelosi and Schumer have their base, they feel strongly. But honestly, people, I'm Schumer, you're the president. Can't you just say, I'll give you dreamers, you give me some defense, shake hands and smile at the camera. It really won't kill you. 